estimated 70% of accidental deaths in seniors aged 75 and older. That's just, that's a big deal. Absolutely. That's it. I don't think a lot of people think about that. No, and um, as we get older, we, our capacity to, our cognitive capacity, our gait, uh, all change. And that is a risk factor to have more falls. And when you have a fall, then um, a lot of things start going uh, downhill, downhill, shall we say, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about those uh, that word you just said, because uh, I know it's cognitive starts going downhill, sensory mm -hmm. and gait impairment. For our viewers out there that really, they've heard of those words but don't really know, let's start with the first one, cognitive. What does that mean? Well, when your capacity to think and um, you start getting more difficulty to have the movements and then you cannot have the space, sens sensority, uh, ability, that you know, makes you at more risk of having a fall. Exactly. And um, that happens with, with aging, now, unfortunately. So that's, that's, what, that's what happened with these patients. And gait impairment? Yes, the, uh, for example, situations like diabetes in which you have neuropathy, the sensation change, you cannot, you don't know exactly what happened, you can trip in something, no feel it, and, and have a fall. So that's one of the, the reasons why we, we can have more falls. And then look at those numbers there, falls lead to functional decline, 5% of falls in nursing home result in fractures, 2% yes. serious injury, 1% of falls in a hospital setting result in fractures. Yeah. So we are talking about elderly patients, mm -hmm. some of them with osteoporosis. A, a significant factor in males is vitamin D deficiency. So all of these things make um, the elderly patient bones more fragile and a fall may lead to a fracture which uh, ends in, in, in changes in the function of the patient.